All right, now that you have both of the side seams sewn up, what you want to do is go ahead and press them both going in the same, uh, you wanna press them so that they're, the pockets are going towards the same direction. So for this side, I'm going to press this seam allowance going this way. And for this side, I'm going to, put that in the frame. I'm going to press this seam allowance going towards this way. That, that way, this will be the front of my skirt and, you know, you won't have any backwards pockets or anything. And also, once you're done pressing that out, if you'd like, you can take like a, a pin and just go ahead and pin. You can take a pin and pin the pockets down that way when we get ready to stitch the pocket isn't moving yeah the pocket isn't moving and you won't end up having one backwards pocket all right working at the top edge of your skirt go ahead and fold it over along that crease line that we made earlier and go ahead and find your side seam And what you want to do is make sure that when it's folded over that it's folding nicely and that it's uh, a line that it's uh, the seams are lined up and go ahead and place a pin and then next I'm going to pin along this crease just so when I get ready to stitch my band isn't moving. Now I'm pinning at the top because it feels more comfortable for me but if you would like you can pin along the bottom. So you can do whichever uh, you prefer. Alright now it's time to so on our stitching lines, so I'm starting with the one that is closest to the top of the waistband. So go ahead and lower your needle and we're going to sew all the way around this line. you're going to make sure you meet the stitch all the way and back stitch all right next we need to sew our so long our half an inch line that we made so what you want to do is go ahead and mark a starting and a stopping point with the pin and this is where we will insert our elastic So go ahead and start sewing and backstitch and sew all the way around until you get to your stopping pin. Alright, I'm at my stopping point. I'm going to go ahead and backstitch. Next, go ahead and cut a piece of elastic that is two inches smaller than your waist. So for example, my waist is 28 inches, so I'm subtracting two. I cut a 26 inch piece of elastic. All right, so now it's time to insert our elastic. Go ahead and take your safety pin, put it right on the end, and right through the opening that we left, we're going to stick our elastic through there and you're going to use this safety pin as a guide to help uh, feed your elastic through 
So what I'd like to do, well, what you need to do is go ahead and push your fabric over the safety pin. And with my right hand, I'm still holding on the safety pin and I'm pulling the fabric. So I'm pushing the fabric over with my right hand, holding it, and then using my left hand to pull the fabric the other way. Alright, now I'm out on the other side. I feel like I used every muscle in my hand to get this elastic through this denim. And while I was going around, I ended up on the other side. I safety pinned it down to my skirt because I knew it would come out the other way as hard as I was having to pull to get this elastic through. So. Uh, if you have another safety pin, well, grab another safety pin and safety pin the that loose end of the elastic down to your skirt so that it doesn't come out. And then you could take off all of your safety pins and we'll sew these two ends together. Alright, so make sure that each piece is straight that it's not twisted at all so it's coming out nice and straight from this end and make sure that it's coming out nice and straight from the other end then we uh, then go ahead and overlap these two pieces and put a pin and we're going to do a zigzag stitch to hold this in place all right, go ahead and change your stitch to a zigzag stitch. And if you are sewing with a denim and you are using a denim needle, go ahead and switch back to your universal needle. All right, go ahead and lower your needle. So right here, I'm just sewing forward and back stitching a few times. This is going to help the elastic uh, stay in place. All right, once you're done sewing the elastic, go ahead and place it inside. And now we're going to close up this opening. All right, so that my elastic won't get caught in my stitches, I went ahead and placed the pin to keep it out of my way. So starting where we left off, go ahead and lower your needle start sewing back stitch and we're going to sew until we get uh, until we close it up all right next you can go ahead and distribute your gathers Make sure your elastic isn't twisting. Alright, now it's time to hem the skirt. So I'm working at the bottom edge. I'm on the wrong side of the skirt. And I went ahead and I'm using an index card and I measured down. <clears throat> Goodness. Alright, I'm using an index card to help me hem my skirt. So I measure down one inch because that's um, that's how large I would like for my hem to be. And I'm going to use this index card to fold up the bottom edge of my skirt to that one inch marking. And then I'm going to take my iron and press. And I'm going to do that all the way around. And then when we get ready to, when that's all pressed out, we'll take it to our machine and I'm going to do a seven eighths of an inch stitching line. I might do two. All right, now I'm on the right side of my skirt and I have the bottom edge lined up with seven eighths of an inch. And I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing my hem. So go ahead and lower your needle. Go ahead and start sewing. 
backstitch. Now I'm going to do a second row of stitches lining up the edge of my presser foot with half an inch seam allowance. Okay, now grab your belt ties and working on the wrong side, we want to take both ends and fold them to meet each other in the center. So I'm taking one end, folding it, and then taking the other end, folding that, and I'm going to press. I went ahead and folded this edge in half an inch just so that it has a clean finish. So I only have to do that to one side. So you fold it in half an inch, take your iron and press, and then continue as usual. Folding it in on one end, folding it in on the other, and pressing that in place. Once you have both sides pressed in, now you can fold it in half and go ahead and press. When you're done pressing, we'll go ahead and run a stitch along the top to hold this in place. Alright, now it's time to sew up this tie. So I went ahead and placed the tie right in the center of my presser foot. And I'm just going to start sewing. And I am going to back stitch at the end. Alright, I have my belt with the right side facing up and I have my two ties. What you want to do is, from one side of the belt, you want to measure down one and one-fourth inch. Then, you want to take the side of one of your ties, the side that has the raw edge. Remember, we had one side that had a raw edge, and one side we turned in so that it has a clean finish. So the side that has the raw edge, you're going to pin it down at one and one from the top it's measured down one and one fourth inch and you'll go ahead and pin that in place and you'll do the same thing on the other side now you want to take your belt and you want to fold it in half and go ahead and place some pins along the top edge Alright, so right here in the middle of your uh, belt, you want to leave an opening because we need to turn the belt right side out. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that and I'm going to put some pins going in the opposite direction so I know to stop at these pins. Alright, so I'm going to use half an inch seam allowance to sew up this belt. So starting at this edge here, I'm going to sew up, then continue all the way down until I get to my stopping pin. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Sewing up half an inch, then pivoting, and sewing all the way down until I get to my stopping pin. Then we will turn the belt 
right sides out. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, starting at the folded edge of the belt, I've lined up, I've lined up my band with a half an inch seam allowance. So I'm going to lower my needle, begin sewing, back stitch, and keep sewing. And I'm going to back stitch over my tie just to reinforce it. Okay, and then leave your needle in and go ahead and lift up your presser foot and turn. Now, I messed up with my measurements, so I'm doing a one fourth of an inch seam along this edge but if you cut yours the appropriate size that I stated earlier then you would continue on with a half an inch seam allowance. Okay I've gotten to my stopping point I'm going to go ahead and back stitch. I'm going to do the same exact thing to the other side. All right, before we turn this right sides out, we want to clip our corners of the belt. So get close to the stitching, but don't cut your stitches. All right, now it's time to turn our belt with the right side facing out. So right, at, uh, right in our opening, I'm just going to start pushing the belt through. And to pull out the corners of the belt here, I'm going to take a pin and just kind of pull it up. Now you can take this to your iron and press it out. Alright, next I am top stitching my belt on both sides. So what I'm doing is lining up the edge of my belt with the edge of my presser foot. So this concludes the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, and go ahead and turn on those notifications. Ring the hit the little bell so you'll be able to know right away when I upload a new tutorial. Next thing I have coming up is my sewing room tour. I already have it uh, filmed. I just need to edit. It's always that editing process. But nonetheless, that'll be up real soon. All right. Until next time.